Now I've encountered many a confounding case in my considerable career, but I have never been so eluded, so befuddled, and dare I say stupefied, as I am attempted to unravel the elaborate machinations of this particular business decision, for lack of a better phrase. Because despite its misleading misnomer, the streaming service does not exist to serve, it exists to sell. To sell subscriptions, certainly. To sell an experience, surely. But at the end of the day, when the rubber most assuredly meets the road and the cat is quite decidedly out of the bag, they're selling you on a proposition. A proposition that relies upon two prepositions. If you are entertained, then you'll give Netflix your money. Netflix, in other words, is using their flicks to ensnare you in their net. Hence the term. So why then, we are left to wonder, would they take a delightful film with a devilishly handsome protagonist and yank it so callously from theatrical release just before it was about to begin accumulating the very money they so desperately claimed to desire? Makes about as much sense as smuggling an armadillo into a drag show. I suppose you're allowed to do it, but what in God's name would compel a man to make such a mystifyingly misguided decision? It was only after noodling my noggin for longer than the runtime of Tar and the Fablements combined that I was able to countenance a conclusion. Netflix, my theory contends, is run by dipshits. <laughs>